Hi, Louise here. And this week we are talking about a really interesting question which I've received. And let me read this to you. It's a very long question. So um, I'll just get this for you. Okay. Here we go. Is it possible for two people who have got a love through a trauma bond and a mother wound to change it into a pure love when you are still attracted to each other when they have healed? Okay, so this is a very long way to say that we formed a trauma bond because we had a mother wound. And if you have a mother wound, you're nearly always going to form a trauma bond with somebody and it's going to feel perfectly, um, it's going to feel perfectly like I know this, I feel safe here, this is my place, this is my person, because we know each other from, without knowing each other, we know where I'm coming from, and I know where you're coming from, and we don't even have to say it, we just recognize subconsciously all those signs in ourselves and in the other person as something that our body, our, our nervous system can say, okay, it's fine here, you know this, you, you, you have experienced this. And so we form this very deep bond. I mean, we repeat our trauma bonding in our family of origin. And so what this question really is, is you fell in love, you fell into trauma bonding, you fell into deep connection with somebody, and then you have a very unhealthy relationship. <laughs> yeah, true story, it happens to so many of us, been there, done that, and so that very deeply falling into love, falling into the trauma bonding, that um, there's always a time when it will stop working. And then the pull away and I pull you closer. And um, I want to run and I want to stop you from running at all costs. Um, I don't, I, I, I fear the connection. I need a connection. There's a, there's a give and take, there's a pull about it. And the, but there's, there's definitely that thing about we two together are better together than anything else in this world. There's a safety for us in this very unsafe relationship. So can two people still be really in love um, when we're done? And yes. So the question is definitely, is definitely about is a moment when we start to work on ourselves, um, do some individual work, and we start looking at ourselves and our own reactions and how did we end up in this relationship and what kept us here. And then in that moment, we realized that we, we fell really into this because we, we, we had something that needed to be fixed. And that person fixed it in us and the other person had something that needed to be fixed and we were willing to fix that. Sometimes it's self-esteem, sometimes it would be I will play small for you, sometimes it will be I will be your safety, I will be the person who goes out and slay the, the dragons. Um, all kinds of things that, but we pick it up in each other and we become very willing to fix that and let somebody else fix us. And we, and then in the codependent relationship, we also become very willing to give up things that are important to us and um, make it more about, please don't leave me and I won't have boundaries so you don't leave me. So very codependent. And so now we become healthy. We learn how to be self-respecting, how to take care of our wants and needs, how to have boundaries, how to ask for what we want. And once we get, so we start healing from a whole different place. We, we work on ourselves and we become willing to think, I don't quite know who I am going to be. No muffin. So I don't quite know who I'm going to be when I've done this whole job. And maybe the other person won't like me anymore, or maybe maybe I won't like the other person. And we do say that because we can, we we don't want to go into something where we are only willing to change, because we want to keep the other person. And right there, a whole lot of people just falling off this recording because you're not healthy enough to want it for yourself. And bye bye, I I'll still be here when your relationship becomes so unbearable that you will have to come back and get help.
which are right here is where this is the difference between I really want to be better. I will do it for myself and I'm willing to so much. I can't live in this place anymore. I can't live in this utter revolving dismay, the hamster wheel of it, it's not really fixed ever. And we just keep on coming back to the same problem and coming back to the same problem. And so if we are fed up with that, if we really want to change it, we start doing it for ourselves. And the minute we start doing it for ourselves, yes, we can still have that relationship. As long as we are doing it because we want that person back. For all this recording, you're not ready. If you are doing it because you want something better for yourself, stay on and listen to me. Okay, right. So what happens through this process? If you work with me, this is what happens. You become more you, you become, you have an ability to regulate yourself. You have ability to, to ask for yourself what you want and need. You have the ability to negotiate. You are actually easier to be in a relationship because now you're willing to be open and stop playing the games. And if the other person work with you too, this process is on steroids because you both now have new language. You both know what unfair fighting is. You both work on your own triggers and neutralize them. And you both work on your self-esteem, your sense of self, of who you are in this world. You become authentic. You don't hide it anymore, who you are, in order to not lose somebody. That makes you easier to live with. And once you're easier to live with, you are just more you. Why wouldn't somebody fall in love with you? Okay, now you're going to have another fear. You're going to go like, if, if people could see how I really see myself, they'll run away in disgust. Because that's our secretest feeling about ourselves. And it actually, it's part of the healing that I will help you through. But you will, you will start to have confidence in who you are. You'll start liking yourself. You'll start coming easier with yourself. And again, self-esteem changes everything in your life. And so the minute you become easy with yourself, you are easier to live with. So why wouldn't somebody want to be with you? Because at your core and in your essence, that thing that we fell in love with originally, it wasn't just the trauma. There was something, there was a love, there was a smile, there was a sense of fun, there was a good conversation. Without that, we wouldn't go one step further. Um, there was attraction, there was this physical attraction, there was um, getting through difficult things together. So there are millions of trauma bonds to be made in this world, but we don't fall in love with everyone. But that trauma bond that we make and we fall in love with, but essence of that person is still there. And when I become easier to live with, and you become easier to live with, we grow our self-esteem and we get better communication. Why wouldn't we want to stay together? I mean, think about the alternative. You now have to go find somebody who hasn't done this work. You may as well do this work for yourself, stick it out, be in this wholeheartedly, and that's a whole other topic. And then, if you get to the end of a, a year or two year journey, when we do couples counseling, we say commit to two years because you don't even know where you are going to be, how, how much happier, how much easier you're going to be in two years time. So commit to that two year time and say, you know, if all of it goes away at the end of two years, tough luck, because first of all, I won't make the same mistake in my next relationship. But also secondly, um, if I was willing to run away from this and go and do a stupid, get into a stupid relationship with somebody who, who has not done this work, I may as well sit here and do this work with a willing partner. And a willing partner, again, is a whole different topic. If you don't have a willing partner, what the heck are you doing fixing it alone? Different topic. Anyways, this is the end of our tiny seats for today. Thank you so much for this person who sent me this excellent excellent question i um i know a lot of people are going to have a few aha moments here please send this on spread it far and wide and thank you so much for being here today and watching and remember please give me a heart and um 
if you are um, if you're watching on YouTube or on Facebook, please comment for me and ask any questions that will help us to be spread better. So let me find that video out through so that I can, there we go. So I can say goodbye to you. Thank you so much for attending. Until next time, lots of love. Thank you.